Hey, 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 and welcome back to another Reality Skewed Gamers roster review. And this is where we go through and help our fellow gamers to improve their gameplay, help them get more situated, and get them on a path of least resistance to become better with their rosters and the gameplay game itself. And of course, joining me on this journey, we wanted to get Grandi Patron, but I think he uh, started a prison riot today and is, is, is out of action. So joining me again is the great Dr. Finn Medicine Woman, Troll Extraordinaire, Mr. Finity. Mr. Finity, are you ready to do this review? Yes, I am. All right. And joining us today for this Ross review is Mr. Drum Cub. Mr. Drum, glad to have you a part of this. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. I'm uh, happy to be a part of it. That's right. And for those that don't know, we've secretly replaced drum cups. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but what we will be doing today is we're going to be doing another roster review. So first of all, drum, tell us a little bit how long you've been playing, uh, what guilds you're in, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've been playing since I think late March uh, 2016. So I believe my shard is uh, either late March or early April 2016. And I kind of... Uh, I'm in a guild that is uh, an alliance guild, Ghost Company, and it's kind of like a merger. We had an old uh, Danish guild that was really cool, um, and we kind of got stale, and we joined the alliance, and we had like a huge guild merger, and within the first week, we were doing uh, heroic AATs, so I'm, I think, 12, 12 or 18 shards away from a Kenobia, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty close. But I've been just limping along with a, a really stale rebel meta team for too long. And uh, definitely want to overhaul that. Yes, we can see that you're running Jedi now, which we'll get into. So uh, for your review, what would you like us to really focus in on? We're going to focus on everything and ask a lot of questions. But what is it you want us to get able to, what do you want us to be able to accomplish today and answer for you and kind of get you help with today? Um, the major goal is is to really get a, a firm hold in arena. Um, I'm mm -hmm. kind of hovering around that 50, and if I if I use all my attacks, I can get into the top 50. But it's you know you, you have to really be on an hour before and do all your attacks and do them right. And I have so I have two Zetas saved for this uh, specific stream, and I'm totally okay if we use both of them. <laughs> you heard it here first. He gave us permission, Finn. Zeta Lumi. Yeah. Uh, wait, well, no, we're not. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you, Finn? Starting off right off the bat. Holy cow. Okay. So, uh, any other areas that you're looking to get some help in, but other than PvP? Um, I mean, if there are some, um, you know, gaping holes in my roster that it could be uh, filled easily with farming one or two characters, um, that would really help. I mean, my Galactic War isn't a problem anymore. So Galactic um, War we're good so on, okay. Yeah, we're totally good in Galactic War. Um, and uh, I, Dark Side Battles, actually, I haven't finished those off. So um, perhaps um, maybe some Dark Side, some work on my Dark Side might, might you help You mean Light Side characters to do the Dark Side Battles? Uh. Or, light, um, or dark side no, character. Dark side, dark side yeah, to dark do side. light side battles. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So let's look at your overall characters. I've got your profile up here on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You have a Vader, which is really good. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. You've got Palpatine, which is good. I Ranger, see. are yeah. you drunk? What do you mean? You use dark side characters to do dark side battles. What the hell are you confusing the two for? <laughs> huh? I was trying to be polite. You dark side characters. <laughs> did I get those mixed up? Oh, I get it mixed up. You kept it, and you did oh, it twice. <laughs> well, uh, you know what I mean, Jesus. Good See, Lord. when I troll, I do it intentionally. Can I say something, or is this Russia? You have no excuse. Last time I checked, this was America, not American. I'll do what I want. Um, <laughs> so, excuse him, want poor favor. Um... So you get with the gist of the battles and stuff. All right, so let's look at each kind of team. Looks like you got some solid rebels. You've got Biggs, Princess, Stormtrooper, Han, Lando, and Wedge. I'm assuming that was the team you were running previously. Uh, yeah, I was. I was running that, and I what I did is I subbed out. Um, 
or I subbed in Jedi Knight Anakin for Leia, and that that yeah. kind of seemed to work a little bit. That's a good fit. With Le- Jedi Knight Anakin's a great ten, and he does fit well with that the, with that roster. Um, I see you've got Vader, Palpatine. You've got your Tie Fighter pilot, which is really good. Boba Fett. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I see you're working on R2-D2. That's good. Mm-hmm. I see you've got clones pretty much done. Wow, very nice. Not a lot of Sith. No Darth Maul, no Savage. You I do, have them you all do have seven Darth, star. So you've got a Darth Nihilus level 85 at gear 8. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, he was he was who I was farming in the shard shop, and so um, ironically, yes, the the Luke the, the Luke event actually helped me a lot. Gotcha. And then no Rogue One at all. I uh, see so you got Cassian done. So Cassian's done. Uh, you got some resistance. First order. So. Let's. I guess we can go through some of the different areas where you get shards, and you can tell us who you're farming right now. Yeah, I just want to do um, a basic roster look at well, who he mm-hmm. has and who he hasn't. So yeah, let's start with uh, yeah. let's start with uh, now. When we're doing this review, it's during the time of trying to farm uh, Phoenix characters, pretending that that doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> who are you working on the guild store? As of this moment, what character were you trying to finish and work on there? Um, well, I was I was just kind of finishing off who I don't have because I, I do have quite a bit of credits yes, in there. So, um, so obviously, whenever Jin shows up, uh, I buy her. Um, and then, I, I mean, I pretty much have. I mean, I'm not going for Zam. Um, I have Ewok Elder Max. I have Rex Max. I have I have all the clones at seven. Um, and I actually most of the characters in the guild store I have seven starred, so uh, it's really just whoever comes through that I don't have seven starred I buy. Okay. Uh, do you have Ray? Yeah, you do have Ray. So, what about your Luke? I'm looking for your Luke. Uh, he's on his way to seven. So you're working on Luke right now. I would continue working on Luke. You need to start working on Darth Maul. Mainly because he's a... Well, no, you have some star Darth Maul. There he is. I just saw him. Uh, so he's done. Uh, yeah. Do you have his ship, the Scimitar? Um, I just unlocked it. Okay. So you're probably going to work more work on Maul. This is because he's a good character. He's still meta, you know, but his ship is really great. And the higher you can get him gear and stuff will make a big difference in ships, but that's kind of like a side project. Yeah, as of right now. Uh, so, yep, yeah, you're almost done with Luke, who's gear 9. That's fantastic. So, yeah, I think what you're doing in the guild store, store it's pretty much what you want because you've got most of the primary characters out of there done. So, let's move on to Cantina. Uh, first of all, in the Cantina battles themselves, who are you working on? I'm working on... Uh, are we ignoring the uh, Phoenix Pretend block? the Phoenix thing is not happening. So, if Phoenix was not happening at this moment with the double drops, who would you, who would you be focusing in on? Oh, well, I've really even even if the Phoenix thing wasn't happening, I would probably be going for Ezra for your Jedi team that you want to run, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, uh, I mean, if 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 I was gonna totally go not Phoenix, it probably would be. Um, Probably Death Trooper. Yeah, Death Trooper is another good one. Uh, your Kylo Ren, I think, is seven stars, isn't he? I thought I saw him somewhere. No, yeah. my Kylo well, is he's not. He's four star. Okay. That's another good character you can yeah. go for, too. But Death Trooper is just as good. So, um, besides the Phoenix, but that makes sense. Ezra for the Jedi team is a very, very good character to be working on. Um, and then for Cantina Store, who are you farming out of there? Um, well, in there, I have a, well, I'm not going to farm pal. I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Yes. Um, yes. I understand. <laughs> um, but the, uh, out of the other ones, I have pretty much all of them seven stars. Um, uh, I was really thinking about going the Jedi Knight guardian route. I heard she was really, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I was about to say, um, how dare you, sir? 
<laughs> Somebody's been listening too much to Grande. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm going. Uh, I, I'm buying Chopper at this at this point in time because all the other ones I have seven. Yeah, that's fine. Even if the Phoenix wasn't here, you would still that would be okay. All right. So PVP store besides not working on Canaan, looks like you farmed pretty much all of them. <laughs> I mean, good lord, uh, you already got Cassian done. So that's a big bonus. Got the droids. Mm. Was there anyone you were working on in there? I think you've got the main ones done. Lando, Stormtrooper, Han, Akbar. Yeah, I, I, I've got them. All, I've got. Um, yeah, I've got Sid done. I've got Savage done. I've got the all the fleet. The Admiral Akbar, Mace, Grandma Tarkin, uh, Grandma Grandma Tarkin. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, right now I'm just working on. Kanan, because he's the only one really that I don't have. I mean, I even have Greedo seven stars. That's how pathetic that yeah, is. Yeah, we won't talk about that. We already had a pre-discussion about Greedo. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, at least you have another bounty hunter, you know, for your your um, heist event and stuff. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, you could work on Savage. I mean, where's your Savage at? Let me see. Z even one, level one. Level one. No gear. Yeah, but he is seven stars, so you already got him farmed. So yeah, you're again. You're good to go on that as well. Might as well get that character done. What about um, the uh, Galactic War store? Uh, so yeah, Galactic War store is kind of the same store uh, story as the squad, where I, I seven starred everybody that's worthwhile in there. Um, the, I was thinking about possibly farming a magma trooper to go with my Zader, um, just eventually, just for fun. Um, but right now, I'm I'm currently farming Zeb, and what I, I had put all the character farming on the back burner because I was just getting ships um, that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And now, and it's gotten so bad that I've, I've seven starred a lot of my ships. So my galactic war currency is just like built and built and built. So I'm glad they dropped at least dropped one character in here to farm. Okay. Yeah. The good thing about your roster that I'm, I'm noticing is really, you've got a lot of characters in a lot of different places. So I think that's a really good thing. Um, and then in ships, I'm assuming you're going for Ezra. And then ships. Um, yeah, I, I always save enough for Tide Vance one, which actually one just showed up. Um, yeah, what's that and, like? Uh, oh my, the no, what's that like? Yeah, to actually get a ship like that to show up, I haven't seen one in a while. <laughs> it's a, uh, it feels like an honor. Honestly. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, a couple. It's like yeah. Is apologizing for bad RNG. Yeah. So I think uh, looking at it, uh, you know, of course, with the Phoenix Squadron, minus that, I think getting those those hard to get ships is important. Like Skimitar, uh, Slave One, Tide Vance. Um, we'll we'll look at your ships here in a little while. Um, mainly focusing on your your main roster here. Um, and it sounds like you got a lot of the ships done, so I don't think you're having any issues with ships or ship battles, are you? Uh, yeah, not really. Uh, I'm, I, I usually get down into the top 20. Yeah, you're um, fine. We, don't even, we don't even need to mess with it then. Um, so I would focus on Ezra, of course, because that's part of the where we're at right now. But uh, are you working on uh, Churret, farming him? Uh, yeah, whenever Churret shows up, I buy him. Okay, uh, good. And yeah, because I'm just struggling with the the Bay's grind. Yeah, you're doing the the uh, hard note for him every day. Yeah, yeah, I have Trude almost uh, five star actually. That's that's kind of how it goes. <laughs> uh, it is a grind, my friend. I actually finished him off by just buying his 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 crystals when he showed up in the store. Now they were reduced, so if you want to, if it's a possibility of increasing your base because they are such a great combination um you can get him kind of cheap in the uh in the the store uh you know 320 for whatever for stuff like that so they did lower the price for those um okay so good so what we really need to work on is what we want to focus in on is your pvp because it sounds like the grind for you for characters is just at this point you know it's kind of a non-factor. Um, anything about where he, what he's farming, what he's doing, Finn, that you want to comment on or suggestions or anything like that? No. I mean, your your roster is actually pretty far advanced, so you have a lot of the crucial characters. Um, there's a few here and there, particularly in Cantina Node. It's not a 
a big thing. Like you don't, uh, you mentioned your Kylos at four star. You don't have B two unlock yet. That may be somebody I would look at also. Um, but the direction you're going right now in terms of farming Ezra for your Jedi and then yeah, uh, going Death Trooper is still is still a fine one. Yeah, I mean Ezra, then Death Trooper, then Kylo. You know. Those three are really, really good. Um, so I don't think you have any issues with that, whatever, whatsoever. So I think you're really good on that. So let's look at PvP. Let's look at your PvP squad. So you, now you were telling me that you had been running. I can see your lowest rank when you have the, the Rebels with Jedi Knight Anakin. I think your lowest, your average rank is 72. Your current rank is 52. Now you did say you have Qui Gon Jinn Zeta, right? I do. I do. Correct. All right. And I'm assuming that eventually we're going to add Ezra to this squad. And um, who else are you? I mean, ideally for your team, who do you want to run? I mean, who are you looking to run? Well, there's, there's, of course, there's like the standard Jedi meta with the R2 and the GK, um, which, which obviously would be optimal, but I'm, because I don't have the GK unlocked. Well, how far away um, were you from unlocking him? Um, I think three raids away. Okay, so the problem there also is that your R2 gear. needs gear, and the gear overlap quite a bit. Yeah, yeah the carbon Yeah. So ideally, mm. you're, you're, you 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 we want to go with the R2, General Kenobi, Qui Gon Jinn, um, Yoda, and um, Ezra. Is that what you're looking to run eventually? Yeah, I think I would. Yeah, because oh, I mean, at least sense. from videos of, from videos I've watched, it seems like um, Ezra, you sub. Ezra in for Jedi Knight Anakin. Yes. Um, all right. So we're just going to kind of mess with what you have right now. Let's kind of look at, uh, let's break down each character. Actually, let me pull up your screen. We can kind of look at this at the same time. If I can get it to, to do it. Why is this stupid, dumb? Okay. Let me pull up your window here. There we go. Yay! I see Yoda. Mm. Okay. Uh, so let's pull up. Go to your uh, the the alt tab and put pull up uh, your Jedi. There we go. All right. So the, your team you're creating around right now is Barris, Ayla, Qui Gon, Jedi Knight, Anakin, and Grandmaster Yoda. And we are working on Ezra. What gear levels Ezra? What does he look like? He's gear seven or eight. Yeah, I think he's seven. Seven, working on eight. Okay. And he's, you're working on starring him as well. Okay, so that's one piece. And then General Kenobi. Well, hello there. Uh, okay, so let's look at your, your, your team. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, let's look at his mods. Okay. Okay. So obviously, I, I haven't because they weren't my arena team. I haven't moved all of my really good mods over to them yet. I was kind of waiting for for you guys on that one. Yeah. So for this, we obviously want um, the highest speed. Speed everywhere, yeah. everywhere, everywhere. But Yoda. Not on Yoda, but then here. What's that? You probably want Yoda to be the fastest, but yes. Qui Gon would probably be second. Yes, we want Yoda and Qui Gon to have the fastest mods. So let's actually look at your Yoda for now. We'll come back to Qui Gon because we want Yoda to be the fastest. All right, what is Yoda's? Go to his arrow. His speed is. Oh yeah, we got to work on his speed. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. No, 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 this is not going to work. All right. Um, I like that you have health mods for Yoda. That's good. Um, go to his his uh, arrow, and let's look at that arrow uh, mod. It's, it's horrible. Okay, yeah, that's not going to work. All right. Yeah. Finn, can you look at his roster? I'm looking at the screen here. I can't do both. That had uh, three speed. Huh? <laughs> that had three speed? What is wrong with you? Please pull in his roster and look for his primary speed arrow. He has three speed. Shut your it's mouth. It's just missing a zero. God. Yeah, it's missing a zero. Wrong, yeah. wrong, wrong. This is totally wrong. We're going to fix this. This is what I do. We're going to go through. We're going to so, fix this. Do you know when you would uh, use like a speed set 
versus your speed mods in general, uh, Drum Cup? Um, yeah, well, I, I mean, I know that it only affects base speed and not mm -hmm. the, from mods, so I don't really... When would you prioritize and actually use a speed set? That's exactly it. So what you would want to do is see... Uh, you would want to check your speed sets, but also see what the base of your character's speed is. Um, so to do that, you would go to the stats, yeah. you would see what the speed is, you would subtract the little blue number in the parentheses, yeah. and that would tell you what the base speed is. So for your Yoda, it's 157, which is actually the max amount. So um, if you use a speed arrow, you're getting uh, 15 extra speed. So when you're trying to figure out your best mods in order to speed up your characters, what you'll need to do is kind of see, do my non-speed mods equate to 15 extra speed? So is it worth it to put non-speed set versus putting a speed set? Okay. So that's that what you would just kind of want to check as you're going through it. All right, that makes sense. But um, we, we need to look at your arrow, key, arrow first. So do you have another, Finn, if you could look at his mods... He has a lot of 30. He has six total 30 speed arrows. So How many of those? Then, are, w which kind are they? Potency or health or what? No, are they? One health, one health, two crit damage, two crit chance, and one speed arrow. So hmm. I'm looking at the rest of his speed set here. So. Yeah, check his speed set because if we can get double double the bang for that, that, that uh, arrow with this mm -hmm. speed set and 30, that would be perfect. Wow. You have no speed sets, I think. Hold on, let me check again. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the um, the third speed um, challenge opened. Yeah, that's your your only speed uh, mod. That one arrow. That's a plus thirty arrow mod. That's your only speed set. So in this case, you wouldn't even have enough for the speed set so, itself. So, yeah, so uh, we, we wouldn't even... be looking for it. All right, so w let's go with that uh, health. Who's that health arrow um, arrow on that's got the speed on it? Thirty. It's on Han. That was on Han. All right, so let's remove that. Down. Let's remove that and change that with this one. All right. Now, looking at the rest of your speed mods, most of your speed secondaries are on crit chance sets. Um, one, two, three. I think I have a crit damage one too. You have a you have two crit damage arrows. Um, but your fastest secondary speeds are on crit chance. So I don't know if you, we want to keep health there, Ranger. Well, let's. So looking at the sometimes you know well, I've done this with Grandi. It's not if you don't have the sets. Or if it doesn't make sense, you just go with the best mod you have, you know. Because well, I mean, for the arrows, they're all equal. So well, what's, what's we can on, go with the arrow though. Yeah, but I like that arrow for Yoda because of if you look at it, it's got thirty speed, but also it's health protection, uh, and it's got some defense. I mean, Yoda's such a squishy little monster. Um, I think that'll be a really good mod for him, and that gives him thirty speed. Bam. All right, uh, square. Let's look at the square one. Who do you have? What do you have on him right now? No speed. That's gonna change. Uh, any of those mods over there, over there on the left that you're looking at right now, Cub have speed on them. All right, yeah. I want you to start doing this. Every time we find an error like this, lock it. See that little lock, uh, unlock button there, right next to a sign on the bottom right there. Mm -hmm. Hit that. That's gonna identify this as a speed mod. The rest you leave without. Uh, so you have seven speed on that one. Uh, let's oh. see. Let's see. It's offense. It's not bad. Let's see. Yeah, what are those other mods over there on the left? We didn't even look at those. Do those have speed on the left there on that? Go back to your arrow. Uh, I, I don't believe these have speed. They're not speed uh, primaries. Secondary protection. Okay, good. Okay, just making sure. Hey, yeah, anytime we come across one of those, put a... Knock that sucker with a with an arrow. What, is, what about check your other ones real quick? There, you've got a nine level nine. Any of these have speed? That one has not. That has seven speed already. Lock that. Next one. No. Uh, hasn't been leveled. No. Uh, secondary. Uh, oh. Don't destroy. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh wow. That already has eight speed. 
He has better already equipped, though. This is no. This is level three. It's not even level four, and it has eight speed. Yeah, but eight speed is all it's going to get. It's only yeah. a single primary. It's not going to go up. They go up at, at three, six, nine, and twelve. So he's already upgraded this to the max secondary speed it'll have. It has a chance. To, it has a chance to go up to some more speed. Nope. No, nope. it's three already. That's the maximum speed it's going to be. Because the next three at six, nine, and twelve are going to give it three new secondary stats. That's still eight. Yeah, when, I, when I get you know, when I when I get a colored mod, either a blue, a purple, or whatever, I um, if it has a speed, I always roll it up to the point where. Oh, this is never mind. Yeah, never mind. I was thinking. Ah, I thought it was a lot. Never mind. Okay, but it's still level. It's still eight speed. It is offense. But he has better equipped on his character. Than okay. Me. Well, that's still you something to, you want to mark. You you want me to just roll it up and see if I get any better secondaries? Yeah, let's see it? what the other secondaries on this one is. You only have 30 million credits. I don't think this will hurt you too much. Protection. And... Uh, let's see. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. You don't have to do any more. Don't, don't, no, no, don't finish it. Don't, don't, don't finish that. <laughs> But it's, it's still pretty decent eight speed, so we'll we'll hold on to that. All right, none of your don't have any more health mods, so we can. I'm trying to think of which one's going to be your best. But on his uh, other characters, does he have a health or something? The health isn't very good. Okay, his best one is a 15 speed secondary on a square crit chance that's currently sitting on Vader. Hmm. Does he have any other crit chance ones we can we can use as a set that have speed? I mean, he had a crit chance arrow. I know, but it, but but um, it, but yeah, he has a he has his crit chance gives him the best ones for all the other uh, sets. All right, so let's go back to your uh, arrow again. I thought you had more health ones. But he doesn't need to change his arrow. He'll get more yeah uh, we're fine so crit chance is pretty much the best in all of the slots so yeah okay. i i've farmed crit chance and crit damage like crazy mm -hmm. those are like the only two i've really farmed like hardcore and what was the speed on the vader one pin so vader square uh crit chance is 15 that's he has nice. a circle crit chance with 19 he has oh, a diamond Lord. crit chance with 14 and he has a plus sign that's a uh mark four but it's plus 10 speed. Those are his best in those four What spots. about his diamond? His diamond is 14 uh, crit chance. The only one that we haven't assigned yet would be a triangle in that case. And, and what was the triangle you're looking up right now? Yeah, let me look at his triangle. So let's go ahead and uh, go look at that Vader one. Triangles are plus five. That's so. okay. It's better than nothing. Unless he has anything not assigned yet, but yeah, you're gonna, you're actually what I want you to do, my friend, is try to get more mods <laughs> in okay. different areas, you know, so you have a little bit more. Uh, so your selection, yeah, so yeah. your square is on Vader, your circle is on Chirpa, so your diamond is on IG eighty eight. All right, so let's just do this one at a time. Yeah, so let's hold on to that fin. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and remove that. And then we'll go back. What was the next one? Chirpa. Chirpa, uh, the circle. All oh, not manage. Dun, dun, manage. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. And then IG eighty eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, wah wah. And then short trooper for the plus sign.
And as you can tell, speed is pretty much the primary on this. You can look at some of the other stats when you have more choices, but in order to make yeah, that initial limited. push up, you definitely want to focus on speeds and then start modifying as you get more. Yeah, that's oh. what's going to be key for you. I would say the beginning of July, or depending on how this, this event goes, right? If it doesn't look like you're going to be able to make the push for Thrawn or whatnot, you may want to spend about 10 days just farming all different types of mods each day. So, so you get more of those mods into your into your system here. Yeah, I think my I think my biggest problem was is that I was still only farming um, crit chance and crit damage. You're gonna need potency, you're gonna need you're gonna need those other sets. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. Crit damage and potency are the main ones. Yeah. I mean, health and defense are important for your tanks, but, you know, uh, but fins are right, potency and crit damage. Okay. Uh, are we back on Yoda? All right. So let's do the, uh, let's do the square. Go to assign that. Okay. Let's do the, 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 the diamond. Make sure you lock it. And we can check all your other ones also, just to make sure you didn't get anything you weren't aware of. Yeah. And then uh, make sure you lock that. Once you, those speed mods, make sure you lock them. Each one, the one you just assigned, and then the one, uh, yeah. So do that. Hit assign, remove, and then make sure you lock that other one so you can uh, know that it was, uh, it's a speed. It is locked. Yeah. I think you had another one also. That's plus four uh, in the diamond to mark if you want to. Anything that has speed, put a lock on it. Well, uh, he'll certainly be critting like crazy now. <laughs> yeah. Andrew Yoda's not 245 without even Qui-Gon doing anything. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. That's the annoying part about Yoda, because he keeps on going and going, and his basic gives him 30% turn meter, so he's just like going repeatedly. So your crits are actually going to come in handy. <laughs> Um, so we need the triangle. Looking at your triangles, um, you I, don't have, have, uh, I have a crit chance one on Lando with five. Yeah, you don't have any. I'm trying to see which one would be the best one, um, because you don't have, Does he have a health. He doesn't have a health one, right? He has a health. It's a plus three. I would rather keep his um, health bonus an and instead of putting a. I mean, it's, it's. I tend to agree. Yeah, so let's put that health so, one that's on there so he can keep his health. So it's a triangle on your fives. I got five on it. Okay. All right. So, so without any Qui Gon buff or anything else, your Yoda's at 248 speed right now. That is, uh, that's pretty solid. All right. So we've got him done. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to look at your Qui Gon. And you said he's Zated, right? Yeah, he is. Now, do we we want to Zeta Yoda for this team? Because it's going to be a while before he has R2 and Kenobi ready to go, Finn. In either way, you would use Yoda. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. He has well, and, I have, uh, and I do have uh, either 49 or 50 Zetas. So I'm halfway on. Uh, I'm halfway one? to the. Yeah, to we're going to we're we're, we're Zeta Yoda. All right. Should we do that now? I don't see why not. Finn, any objections or. No. You have one of his already Zeta, right? Or do you not have any? Okay, yes. I didn't check yet. I'm trying to. Th I'm looking at your characters right now. Well, I have uh, I have uh, Zader and I have uh, Zeta Qui Gon. Those are the two. Okay. 
Yeah, so you can do his battle meditation. Done. There you go. Is that the first uh, Zeta on our show? I think so, yes. Yeah, oh, well, for a review, yeah. Because I did all my, we've all, I mean, we've had, I mean, we've all done our Zetas offline and just talked about it. I don't think we've ever Zeted anybody on a shoe before. All right, so let's look here. We want the best next set of mods on old Qui-Gon Jan. Uh, let's see. Let's start with your triangle, because I think that was poop. Or not triangle, but your, your arrow. Go to your arrow. Nothing. Right, go back to Qui-Gon. Let's look at his base stats here. So right now his speed is 145. Again. So we're going to try to put as much speed on him as we possibly can. What's his uh, crit chance? If you can scroll down a little bit. Critical, let's see, critical damage. Critical. Uh, 23. 20, yeah, 23. So we'll focus on that and uh, do some spade. We got to get a spade error up and then their, them their uh, mods there, Fanta Doodle. Yeah. So he's at 23. Uh, I'm trying to think if he. The rest of his squad is going to be Qui Gon, Yoda, then Ezra, R2, Kenobi, and Yoda. But, well, I'm, instead of Kenobi, who who are you running? Oh, yeah. Who are you? You're running uh, Jedi Knight Ayla? Anakin, Bears, and Ayla, right? Yeah, correct. So I'm trying to think if there needs to be crit chance on any well, of these crit chance on Anakin. Be crit chance for Anakin for sure, but we don't need speed on Anakin, right? Assuming uh, he's using uh, Anakin, that's why I was trying to figure out the. the he, full well, squad. for now he is going to. I mean, that, I mean he has okay. to. He just doesn't have. Uh, I mean, the team he has is it's it's what he's going to have to run with right now until we get his Ezra done, Kenobi, and R two. Now, those are the three you're going to substitute for the other one. So we've laid out a path for who you're going to farm and replace on this team. We're just trying to make the team you have now the best possible. So we want Qui Gon and Yoda rocking and rolling. We don't have to worry about speed on Anakin. We just want him to be able to do as much offense and damage as humanly possible, um, and then. We'll worry about Ayla and Barris. Where are you thinking, Finn? I'm just trying to think of who we're putting the mods on because if we're using Ayla, Ayla's going to need to make sure she has crit chance for her unique. Um, and then if we have crit damage, we'll definitely put some on Anakin. But if we have speed and crit damage, then we'll need some extra crit on Qui-Gon because 23 is low. So right. we'll need to boost that up. So I was trying to figure out where to look at for his mods. Mm -hmm. So with the... Would the speed priority be uh, Yoda, Qui Gon, Ayla, um, Barris, Jedi Knight, Anakin? Because he'd be last. Because he'd be he'd be prompted to go when they drop. I may actually put Barris ahead of Ayla because mm -hmm. Ayla counterattacks and is just really needs crit chance mm -hmm. in order to do her stun. Uh, uh, and then okay. Anakin goes out of turn, so Anakin maybe even faster than Ayla. But I would put Barris as your third. Yes. Okay. So, so let's go back, back to Qui-Gon. So if we are looking at your speed sets now for your secondaries, um, your next fastest are in crit chance. So you have a 14 speed circle, an 11 speed plus sign, a 10 speed diamond. So then you could use a crit damage arrow. And I think that would give you the crit damage bonus. So that may be the best way for you to go with this one. Tell them what to do, Finn. All right. Um, so on your clone sergeant, you have a crit damage circle with 14 speed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Okay. And then on your uh, jowl of scavenger, there is a square crit damage set with 11 speed. <laughs> One of his two. <laughs> <laughs> I was running out of characters to throw mods on. <laughs> <laughs> you threw on a good one. Okay. And next one is TIE Fighter Pilot. And he has a diamond that's plus 10. And who's next? And the last one is going to be Biggs. And he has an arrow. That's plus 30 speed. Oh, yeah. And we may come back to change that. Um, that's fine. That finishes off your set of crit damage. Um, but I'm trying to look at the rest of your crit damage set here to see if there's anything else worthwhile. I think those would be the best ones. Yep. So then we would want crit chance for the other two. Mm -hmm. So um, if you want to equip those crit damage on Qui-Gon, so then we have left uh, the plus sign and the triangle. Oh, there it is. Oh, now we got a, did we get a square? Oh no, it was, what was the fourth one we, we got for that crit damage set? The circle, diamond, square, and arrow. Oh, square. But the square was a mark four, so it's gonna be at the bottom of your list. Ah, that's why. Okay. Lock it up. Cool. All right. And then what's your okay. triangle is? So now we have to go with crit chance, because if you're doing crit damage, you need to boost your crit chance a little bit with Qui-Gon. Yeah. Correct. Um, he has a crit chance. So let's see. You have a bunch of you have one you have a bunch of plus eight speeds in crit chance. Um, none of them have crit chance, unfortunately, as an extra secondary. Um, but the one on your royal guard has twenty four potency as the primary, so that's probably going to be your best one with Qui Gon. Oh, okay, so for the for the turn meter reduction. Yeah, for the turn meter reduction. It was I who allowed Finn to change the mods of the shield generator. <laughs> and then for your triangle, you have a triangle mod on Rex that has 36 crit damage, 4 oh. speed, and also 1.64% crit chance. Oh, creamy. <laughs> <laughs> so... That should bring your Qui-Gon's crit chance up to just about uh, 30%, I think. So we'll see once you equip it. It's a little bit lower than you would want necessarily in order to maximize crit. Um, but given the scenario, that's probably the best way to, for you to go, given your speeds are primarily on your crit mods. And so you just kind of adjust. All right, we got them all replaced. All right, so now your speed just with everything. No, missing the the plus sign. Did oh, we put, we put the plus sign on. Did we put the cross on? So two twenty two speed without his leadership or anything, 
And let's look at his, uh, let's see, critical damage is 216%. And his critical chance is 31.8. Just so, a little bit lower. Ideally, you'd be closer to 40. His, but... Yeah, but his potency is at 93.92, mm -hmm. so that's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So he'll be doing turn meter. He'll be doing all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? So right. would, would, uh, would, would the preference be to get a critical chance um, triangle on him eventually? No. no. Um, no. Overall, your damage will still be increased in the long haul. So if you run the averages on your attacks, um, as long as you're above, I think it was, I can't remember my numbers exactly, but somewhere around 20%, um, then crit damage on the triangle does more than whatever you get from the crit chance because you get 36 crit damage versus 12% uh, crit chance if you max that out. So um, for that triangle mod, your damage is always maximized with 36% crit damage, even if your chances are low. Um, the main trade-off in terms of maximizing damage comes up to 40% mark, and that's when you compare your crit damage set to an offense set. Um, offense set is a little bit harder to get, so not as many people have it, but if you can hit that 40% threshold, then you're definitely making the most use of the crit damage set. Yeah, you have Jawas. How come... That's offense, right? Or, or no, that's crit... No, no, that's, no. Crit, that's crit damage. That's crit damage. That's What's the, what, is, what is offense? That's... Uh, first order. First order, yeah. Carlo run. <laughs> Alright, now, now we want to look at uh, the wet noodle herself, Bear's Offy. Mm -hmm. Now, Bear's, you, you'll you want, in terms of how to mod her, you'll definitely want to try and stick to health because all of her healing ability is based on health, but there's only one ability that's based on her health. A lot of the other ones are based on the health of the characters that you're using. So, um, to go back with what Ranger was looking for with Yoda, um, health sets would help with uh, having a Barris on the team, but you would need uh, good speeds on it, obviously. Speeds are still going to be the primary focus. So I would probably want to farm more um, more health mods to find better speed uh, primaries and secondaries, correct? You could, but because you're going to be replacing Barris anyways, I wouldn't bother focusing on health. Health are one of those mods, really, that you can kind of shift around to different characters if you don't know exactly where you're going to go or if you're kind of a newer player and you're still kind of building up mods in general health are usually the safest ones to go just because you can throw them on anywhere but given kind of the direction that you know you're going um you might want to farm more potency more crit damage and then maybe some health if you can get some decent uh, speeds on it all right so so kenobi would be the replacement for bears because that would be my tank yes yes correct yeah. Or you could actually, I mean, it depends on the order. If you're putting in Ezra first, then probably. Um, but Kenobi with with Zerus is actually pretty nasty also. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that leads me to, like, the, the big question is, um, with this team, would using the Zeta on Barris make it that much more um, hard to deal with in Arena for defense? Yes, but I don't know if that's necessarily the best reason to do it. Yeah, I would save your Z Zetas for your R2 and, mm -hmm. your okay. and your Kenobi. All right. Yeah, her, her Zeta does give a really nice benefit for whenever they're critically hit, they recover their health. But if you're planning on replacing her, you're essentially putting a Zeta on someone you know you're switching out, and there's... Not too much of a reason. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> now, is there any mods you're looking at that you want to change their affinity to? I'm going through them right now. Uh -huh. Obviously, there's a little bit of a lack of uh, health sets. So hey, go to your health sets that we to. we don't even have. Uh, yeah, just go to health. Let's see, what we, we that's not on the characters. Okay, any of those have speed? No oh, crit damage. I don't care about that. I don't, see, don't care about yeah. that. Protection, I think, might be your best bet, but we'll look here. A oh, there's a tank speed. Lock it. Mm -hmm. That's the one that you just took off your Qui-Gon. Oh, okay. So you could probably, 
yeah, you could go ahead and put that on uh, on her. I think that's going to be your best bet. Mm -hmm. That's going to be his the best one. That's there his... is a circle. So I have this debate with Ewok in a lot. Um, you have a circle with plus nine speed on, of the health set on IG-88. Um, its primary is protection, though. So it depends how you look at it in terms of having health, 5.88% health versus 23.5% protect, protection. I'm personally a fan of protection on I that spot too. because of just the difference and the amount of damage they can take. Um, for a tank that may be getting healed over time, it may be a little bit more worthwhile for a health just because they'll be down on their protection early and won't be able to, they will be the focus of targets. But for Barris, even though she has some health capabilities, I would still go with the protection as her primary stat on the circle. So um, that would be the circle off of IG-88. Got it. Then you have a square mod on your shore trooper that is plus five speed. All right. And then Trying to, let's see. So the only arrow mod that you had with the speed, I think we stuck on Yoda. So we're not getting that. Um, I'm trying to see what else we can do in terms of the other spots here. Um, so when you go through your mod list, um, one of the things that I'm doing obviously is putting the speed secondary filter on. Yeah. And then uh, right now, I just put it on the health set, but now I'm doing the arrow with the speed primary as the assigned set. And there isn't. Good. I think what we're Good. <clears throat> There's not too much of a. I mean, you could put a crit chance on it. Um, I'm not sure there's much of a need for no, that. No, there's not. Well, you mean the, the mod itself or the, the primary stat? The Christian set. No, 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 Christian set. Yeah, yeah. The, for the the, the, remember, the, Grant's... I'm not... I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything with your sets that may be beneficial here, because I don't see anything coming together for that. Um, so, because of that fact, I would say you can probably stick your speed arrow on her. Mm-hmm. That would be, I don't know if you agree with that, Ranger. I agree. He has that speed arrow with the only one, and it has um, some extra uh, protection. It has potency, which isn't necessary. It has a little bit of tenacity. Yeah, um, I'd go with that. Which, uh, mainly, uh, which that which one is on IG-88. Oh, it's the, oh, sorry, it was a circle, I think. Yeah, the nine speed. <laughs> And that one has 10. I'm trying to think who else are we... Because the other one that you have that's actually pretty nice for bears is on Tebow. It's a crit damage one. And it's just loaded with double defense and double protection. Oh, okay. Um, so I see. think that one, that one may be a little bit better. Okay, I'll get or that there's one. a crit... Chance. Triangle on Tebow. Um, Not the triangle. This the is the the arrow. But oh. I'm, so there's. I don't know. Do you have his page up, Ranger? Uh, for the arrows. No, I'm still got his actual gameplay going on right now. Okay. If you want to bring up the the swago.gg, just so everyone can kind of see, there's three arrow speed mods. Um, I actually like that speed arrow. It's got defense, it's got protection, it's got defense, protection. Yeah, that's a really nice one for Barris. There's also another one, though, on R2. What's the stats? That's a crit chance set. It has plus 7 defense, 0.71% uh, health, 1.75 tenacity, and then 1.6% defense. So it's another pretty survival arrow. Mm. 
Um, we still need to mod Ayla, so we'll definitely need another crit chance arrow, but there's one on Rex. We, wait, actually, what arrow did we put on Qui-Gon? Did we put the crit chance? I don't remember now. Top I, think we, I think we actually yeah. put the crit, crit damage, damage off of Biggs, right? Yeah. So. I think this one on T ball I like a lot better. But unless you want to use it for Ayla. Ayla, I might just go all out crit anyways. So, so I don't think I would use crit damage on her. Okay. So, so I'm go good with T yeah, on this. Bears. Yeah. And, and then so for what, your, about our, what about his triangle? That's the last one we need. Yeah, so now for the triangle, obviously if you're using crit damage and we have four other health sets, we're not going to be creating a set bonus. So now we can just kind of go with whatever here. Um, I like that protection one you just had on. Go back. That one. Wait, which one are you? It's one that's not assigned. Unless Wait, which a, ones haven't we assigned yet? Um, no, these are the ones that he had the. These are the ones that triangle he had, left. Yeah, we, oh yeah, we're like a triangle. Never mind. I thought that was a triangle. Never mind. Right, I'm, but the go back plus to sign doesn't thought, have a. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we still need to do the plus, and we need to do the triangle. But I thought we picked a plus. That's what I was saying. Uh, go to the plus was the one. Plus not assigned. Go to the not other. that one. What's the health one? Right, I thought we no. did. It was on, let me double check here. I think it was on Shore Trooper. Oh, yeah. Um, no, it wasn't on Shore Trooper. It was, hold on, let me find it here. Oh, okay. Um, so the one that I was looking at for bears, so there's a, you have a couple of different options here for the, the plus sign for bears. Um, let me just filter that one more here. So there's one with the tenacity primary. It's a Mark five with plus five speed. That's currently on Stormtrooper Han, or there's one that I like a little more. It's a Mark four with plus four speed, but it's, uh, plus 4% health primary and 316 health secondary. It's a health mod that's currently on K2SO. Oh, that sounds nice. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, it's a little, it's one mark lower. So some of the, so the primary stat is a little bit lower than what it could be maxed, but I think overall it fits your squad better. So then we go to your triangle. And so to keep your survival of your Barris up, you have a plus four speed crit chance mark four with 16% protection as the primary currently on, I think it's regular Ahsoka. Yes. Can, can we just call the new one fat? Yeah, we can call the other one fat. Why? That Ahsoka is racist. That is fat. racist, sir. I fat racist. You're fat shaming. They're people. <laughs> Fine. This is racist. They're not a race. Next thing you're going to say, they should have their own school. Ooh. Got it. 
That is it. Just out of bounds, my friend. <laughs> Now that this is complete, the circus is now complete. Let's look at her stats. So her base speed is now 178. Health and protection are still pretty. You, you lost some protection, but you gained some health, which will be important. Uh, tenacity is 32%. Okay. Yeah, I like this. You've done well. She's going to be very, very annoying to kill. Yes, she is. Good, good. I like that. <laughs> good. <laughs> but not, not quite as annoying as the dodge meta. No. If you put... So, I'm not saying to do this, but if you Zeta her unique, then your entire squad becomes really annoying to kill. But because you're replacing her, it's not worth it. No. If you planned on keeping her, then I would say... Go for it. Keep her, but... Yeah, because the plan is to replace her. Then. I will need those uh, two Zetas for R2, and then uh -huh. um, what's the what's the Zeta for GK? Oh, you know what I said. Let's go look. <laughs> that is why he's awesome. <laughs> what is it? Uh, the triple cleanse team is so awesome because it's just an optional uh, Zeta on Nihilus's unique if you really want to do anything. So he is easy to easy to skill up. He's just annoying to gear up. Okay. Now we need to look at. You want to look at Ayla or Jedi Knight Anakin next, sir? Mister Finadoodle. Um. Let's go with. Anakin, because Anakin will probably need oh, more speed, lady. and <laughs> he'll probably need more speed, and he'll provide the offense up. So let's try and get some crit chance on him. So Anakin has a little bit of a kind of a different, few different ways you can mod him depending on how you want to use him. Um, so in a team where they might be kind of going up and down in health a lot. You can just focus a lot more on damage. Um, in a squad where he's just kind of like another Jedi and is just a damage dealer, then you would want to go with crit chance. And obviously, once he reaches a particular crit chance, then you're better off with crit damage in order to counter it. But his AoE does have a chance to expose him if you uh, don't crit enough on his AoE. But overall, the survival of a team with like an R2 and a Kenobi and even a Barris uh, increases it. So you're probably in a good uh, position to focus on two on four crit damage and two crit chance mods. I like it. Um, on Anakin. All right. That's good to know. I wasn't actually sure of um, exactly why he got exposed a uh, certain time. So it's good to know that that's a, that's a crit thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on his AoE, um, so he has a chance for offense up, but at the same time has a chance to expose himself. And okay. and from so his point time. of view, uh, the Jedi are evil. So, you know, just throwing that mm -hmm. fun fact out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so, so mm -hmm. look, looking at the speed arrow, so you said I'm going to do a full crit damage set and then a crit chance set, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, the one thing to keep in mind, there's only two places to increase your crit damage. It's either with the set, or it's by getting a primary of crit damage on the triangle. Yeah. And so, looking at that, I believe your Rex should still have a triangle crit chance set with critical damage primary. I believe we still have that on uh, Rex. I don't remember if we moved that to Qui-Gon. So now that we moved everything. <laughs> oh, it's still here. No, nope, we took it off and we put it on Qui-Gon. Okay. Oh, so, so what we can do is see if you have any other crit damage triangles. That was your only one with crit damage and um, speed. 
but we because Anakin goes out of turn a lot, right? Because of his uh, unique, where if you go below fifty percent and all that kind of stuff, um, the crit damage will tend to be more important. And so, looking at your characters here, you do have a lot of crit damage primaries on the triangle with Mark V. And you have, let's see, one in particular that is currently on Wedge. So the one that's on Wedge has 36 crit damage. It has 1.63% crit chance, so you're getting a little bit of health there. And it gives them a little bit of health and protection and tenacity. Good. So if you want to look at that one, Ranger, I think that one would probably be a good... Uh, oh, that's a beautiful one. Let's take that. Bad boy. Now, obviously, it's missing some speed, but because it's Anakin and he's lower priority for speed, it's not as important. I hate sand. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. <laughs> How can yeah, you so be on the council, Finn, and not be a master? Moving on. All right. How dare you so, not even acknowledge my reference, <laughs> you son of a... Nope. All right. Oh, so looking at... Let's see. So I think we've used most of these mods. So the, the hard thing is just trying to see which ones we have and haven't used yet. Can, um, you, can you sync his profile and see what's up there, Nan? He has to sync it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Do you know how to sync your profile? Yeah, I'm going to do settings right now. Is the let's see collections? Do you have to just update profile? Usually, just unclick update and then click again and update, and then it usually works. Okay, I hit uh, I hit update again. Okay, let's go back to your roster here. Um, now this one's still showing the old one, so it might take a little, take a minute or two here. But in the meantime, if you want to check, um, does your bigs still have? If you go to your character screen and you switch it to a uh, mod view, it'll be easier, so you don't have to go to the character screen. And then um, you can check to see if your bigs still has his circle mod. Uh-oh, come on, scroll. Come on. There we go, come on. Uh-oh, blue stacks is slowing down here. Let's see here. And back in. <laughs> hey, my oh. oh, it's not going so well here. Okay, let's see. Just back out here. There we go. It's trying. It's like putting along. <laughs> His arrow is gone. I don't understand. Okay. No, not his arrow. His circle. Oh. So his circle is still there. So his yeah. your circle there is a crit damage set with plus 10 speed. So that's probably the circle that we're going to stick on uh, Anakin. All right. And there should be a diamond that is on Phasma. Phasma. And so this one has plus nine speed and has a little bit of offense, has some extra health, which should help with whatever bears does. So, and then there and then. is one on. So we can compare a little bit here. There is a square that's on Nylas. 
that is plus seven speed, uh, three twenty four health, one point zero one defense, and plus nine defense. There's another one that's a little slower that I think I like a little more. Um, mm-hmm. It's plus fifty five offense, plus five speed, two sixty seven health, and then two point zero eight percent potency. And that one is on wedge. I like that one a little better myself. Yeah, I think I like that one. So that's going to be the square that's currently sitting on the wedge. Oh boy! Finn, I just got, Finn, I just got a message from Facebook saying I haven't updated my profile in seven weeks. Then go update your profile. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let the man okay. tell me what to do. It's not a man. It's a book. The man who wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mm, Mr. Facebook trying to tell me what to do. Yeah, it's pretty annoying when they uh when they tell you like, oh, somebody just updated their status after like five weeks. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, yeah, I just really don't care. <laughs> or do you? I don't know. You sound like Floyd now. Maybe you had. Maybe I do, or maybe I do. Maybe I'm just talking about myself. Or maybe. Maybe you... it's maybe. <laughs> God. <man>. What? <laughs> maybe it's maybe. Fantastic. All right. So we have the circle, the square the diamond and the triangle that we should be able to equip now. So Oh, this was the one with oh no, that's not it. This one should be a crit chance that was Oh no, we didn't have that on Rex, right? We got another one. It was a offset something. I don't remember stripping a triangle. Hold on. I'll tell you which one it was. It was the one without any speed that was on. Uh, it was on. Actually, it was on wedge. It had no speed though. Yeah, this one right. Damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the one. All right. So then we now we do crit chance for here. Yep. And that one is on. We haven't gotten that one yet. So we're looking for crit chance, arrow speed. I believe this one is currently sitting on R2. Okay. Unless uh, Rex still has his, but I think we stripped Rex. Yeah, we his. stripped. Did we strip Rex? So if Rex still has his, his would be better. Um, otherwise, it would be R2. Okay, let's check if you want it. Check it. This is, I think this is supposed to be a kid's show. I don't think we want to strip him. What do you mean? Eh. <laughs> kid show. There's mind. nothing wrong with stripping on a kid show. And that good. No, it's still there. Okay. Rex, had, Rex had his triangle, or his uh, arrow. So Rex's uh, arrow compared to the one on R2 had more offense. The one on R2 was more defensive. I like the offense. So, yes, with Anakin, definitely better off with offense. And then, and then one of the things that makes Anakin really awesome is his basic being able to do the health immunity and the buff immunity, and that can really um, help your squad. Yeah. So you still need to work on your potency, and so you have a crit chance with potency primary on your royal guard. Is the uh, is the one that's on screen better? Because this is one that... Oh, no. Sorry. That's a health. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind there. <laughs> All right, governor. Now, sometimes the, the, chant, the set doesn't matter, but in the case of, like, Anakin, where we're trying to get up his crit, um, we're actually focusing a little bit on his uh, chance. Oh, but it looks like we took that one off. Ah! So, you have <laughs> you have another one on Boba. Boba. 
and Bobas will give him more protection. So Boba. his is four speed, twenty four potency as a primary, but then he has double protection secondaries. Mr. Baba. Wow, that's amazing how one mod just drops in like a rock. Okay. Yeah, you, after this, you need to go through all your characters and put mods back on them. <laughs> <laughs> Especially your ship characters. Remember just to throw yes. any kind of level 15 Mark V on them. Don't forget, or you'll drop. All right. So let's okay. look at his stats. So... His health is and protection are nice. I like that. Look at his speed without any Qui Gon. Wow. Mm -hmm. Critical damage two hundred sixteen percent. Potency is at fifty four. A little low, but it's, it's doable. His tenacity is up. I like that. And his physical critical chance is forty nine point three eight percent. Pretty good. Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. Yes. And All right. finally... Ayla. Now, Ayla is going to be all kinds of crit. I like putting straight up crit. I don't know about you, Ranger. I oh, like yes. Six crit on her because... <laughs> crit, crit, and more crit. Yes, <laughs> because you want her to stun and basically take out somebody for a turn. <laughs> The password is critical chance. <laughs> so, uh, so would we want to put that um, that one ten percent potency that I have? Would we want to put that on her? The the ten percent uh, secondary that I have. Uh, I am going through yours right now. Let's see. I don't know it's the it's like the only real mod I'm like crazy proud of because I've never seen a ten percent secondary like. Mm -hmm. So the potency helps, but remember that if she doesn't crit, then you have no chance of it at What's all. What's the crit chance okay. on it? Is there any crit chance on it? There's no crit. There's no speed, and there's no additional crit chance. Then no! <laughs> so you have these ones that are 10% potency. You also have two other ones that are over 5% potency and give you plus 4 or plus 5 speed. So Okay. So the potency one, like, for example, that one... Um, might be decent on a Stormtrooper Han, for example, um, because it does have defense and protection percentages on there. Again, with no speed, though, it may be even better on uh, maybe... I'm trying to think what character it could be potentially what, good what, on. What about like a, like a Sunfac? Sunfac doesn't really need potency, though. No. I mean, it could. I mean, uh, yeah, because he does remove spells right. and puts that stuff on there, but yeah. Could I could there. see Sunfac. You would need a group to speed up Sunfac in order to use that, though. But, yeah. Okay. But yeah, so you're, you're looking for characters that don't necessarily need uh, speed, obviously. Um, even a Baze actually might benefit from that, although you don't necessarily put crit chance set on him. That's, the, that's kind of the trade-off. <laughs> it's a crit chance set with that much potency, Finding the best use without any speed is somewhat... It's counterproductive difficult. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so for the arrow, at least, we're going to be pulling the one off of R2. I think we uh, I, your... I pulled it already, I think. Oh, did we just pull that one? Because we... No, I thought Rex still had his, so oh, we yeah. still had... Yeah, well, I pulled them both, so we yeah. had them. Okay, yeah. so... Perfect. Go ahead and put that out. All right. All right. And then for let's go with what's in your terms of the circle. What's your square you have on Ayla right now? Because it's already crit chance. All right, it's not bad. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead and continue. I just wanted to see. Mm -hmm. So you have a circle currently on Poggle. <gasps> Poggle, how dare you, sir? <laughs> Hey man, he he just got lucky. How dare you, sir? <laughs> it's better than modding up cup. We don't well, like to, we don't talk about that. 
Okay, so we got. Um, okay, so wait, it was that one, right? The one with three speed. Uh, that should be crit chance, right? Yeah, it's a crit chance. It has five speed. Found it. There it is. That one. No, that just has potency and protection. Where did? The you had it there. Yeah, there was five speed, thought. potency. Go back up to the top. Right here. The, there it is. Yeah, that yeah. One. Yep, that's the one. Perfect. Okay. So, then you're... Let's see. We need that one. I think we need that one. That's fine. We use that one. Um, pretty sure we use that one um does i think it's gone but can you check if rex still has his diamond he does okay so rex's diamond has eight speed and then also 1.43 percent potency so and also critical chance on it as a secondary, which you have at four point seven five percent crit chance. So you got a nice upgrade on that one too. And my head. So Rex's diamond is perfect. Um then let's see. So which ones do we have left? We've done the circle, the arrow, and now the diamond, right? Mm-hmm. So we need a plus cross and triangle. Mm -hmm. So let me filter again. So plus triangle and square. Okay, so we use that, that, and see does Nebit still have his square. I know we took something off of Nebit. We took something off Scavenger. Oh, we did? Okay. Yeah. So, looking at either Nebit or Kibo. Or, actually, 1.76. Yeah, so if you do the one off of Nebit, um, Nebit's has crit chance and eight speed on it, so that should help there. I think your game froze on my Hangouts. Mine didn't. Okay. Mine is just stuck on a character select screen, but that's fine. Um, so you got the one off of Nebit then, mm -hmm. the square? Yeah. Okay. So next is the cross. And for the cross, let's see. You have one on HK47 for speed plus 5% potency. 35 offense and then 967 protection. Okay, so that would be that would be better than the 3.98 critical chance she has on her right now. Well, we're getting the also yes. has a, yeah, oh, I guess it's a crit, it's, it's a set crit damage. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. That was on HK. Yes. That's the cross mod, and then for the triangle, well, before we do the triangle, equip these ones and let's see what your crit chance and everything is at. You have to unlock it. You have to hit the lock button. Got it. Okay. 
Okay, triangle. So let's go to your ALO first and equip the rest, and then we can see if we need to focus more on crit chance or more potency, more speed. There. Speed is at 180. Let's see, potency is at 42.4. What's your crit chance? 59. Okay, the 42.4 potency is a little low, so we want to try and boost that a little bit. But I think you already have a crit chance mod on Ayla, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, correct. I think that's going to be your best one. I, I don't want to go too much lower on our potency. Yeah, I agree. I don't know about you. Oh, the I don't, highest I don't have a crit speed would be... I don't have a crit chance triangle. I have a crit Ayla doesn't have a crit chance triangle? Uh, yeah, no, not a, not a not a triangle primary. It's just a crit chance. Um, no, no, it's a health primary, but it's a crit chance set. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes, and it has two point one nine percent potency as a secondary. Um, yes, correct. that's the most that you have on any secondary. Um, anything with speed, uh, the most you have is plus four. It's not a huge game changer, um, and considering your potency is just around forty percent, I wouldn't want to go too much lower. Um, so I think that is a good mod for her right now. And remember, she counterattacks whenever she's hit, so she doesn't necessarily need the most speed out of any character. Okay. All so, right. Now I think we're ready to try the new car out. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Let's see here. Who do we want to take out? Uh, let's go for number 52. Let's just rock and roll all the way up as far as we can go. Oh, bummer. Denied. Let's see if we can go a little bit higher. Refresh. Oh, you got 50. Let's go. We can go for the 50th squad. Funny Katie. <laughs> oh. dun 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 Should we strip the ton here? Or wait until he throws it up? You talking on Short Trooper? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go after, um... You want to go after his, uh, heavy hitters. So strip it. Yeah, go ahead. Your game's lagging a little bit, but that's okay. And then you can um, save your uh, your AOE and then just, there you go. Very nice. You got it. Hit with a wet noodle. Yes, yeah, steal that. Steal that. Steal it with, steal those buffs. It's hard to see what's happening because there's such a lag. So, are you noticing a difference already with your team? Uh, they're really fast, really fast. Oh, geez, that was that was violent. Uh, what, what happened? Uh, just in one shot, Anakin took out my, uh, or maybe it was Boba took out my Qui Gon. Mm. <laughs> That AOE here? Yeah. Uh, well, or, you, or, okay. Because you just lost somebody, it's going to hit hard. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. All right, now go after Anakin. Throw it up. Critical hit. Yes, yeah. Yep. Oh, Dodge, come on. Yeah, it's RNG. Just keep rocking and rolling. Uh, oh, because, uh, should I, oh, yeah, that'll hit pretty hard. Yes, that'll hit very hard. Now I'll go for uh, Rex, finish off Bubba, then the last one will be uh, oh, Kylo Ren. You could probably stun Kylo Ren if you wanted to, but 
that works too. <laughs> if I'm lagging here, I'm like, because I'm seeing like, because like five, ten seconds later, it's like, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah, Ayla's hitting, Ayla's hitting hard. That's the, I think that's the biggest thing I noticed. And I keep forgetting that we uh, we zated um, Yoda. I was like, oh, look, they all got foresight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Even with some RNG going against you, it, I mean, it just made a made all the world a difference. Yeah, it certainly did. Did you see that, Finadoodle? He's muted. I don't know what he's doing. I forgot I was uh, But yeah, so that that team will run you pretty well uh, until you get your other piece up. Then you'll just move your mods around to the you know um, fix your you know you know you'll want to do the mods and them differently than you did, of course, with what we just did, right? So it's it's yeah. So remember, you need to go back and put all the mods in. You know, after we do this uh, on all your characters, um, but you know, speed is important on some characters, but it's not the most important. We we talked about this on the show. We'll talk about this review. The dynamic of your team dictates whether you need. I mean, having good speed mods is good, but it's what they do and what you're trying to accomplish with the team. That's the most important. Now, Jedi, you want speed because you want them going fast and you want them to hit hard with their, their heavy hitters. Um, so I think this team will do really well until you get uh, Kenobi and R2 rocking uh, and uh, Ezra. Um, so that team will really rock and roll for you once you get them done. Uh, I should think... The, so should the priority be uh, R2 um, since I don't have GK at the moment? I mean, pick one and finish him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're still working on Kenobi. I would go ahead and finish R2 and Ezra. And then uh, then once you, you, mean you can start putting the pieces in. Uh, and then once you get Kenobi, then you'll, you'll be really solid. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm at the point where I haven't sunk a bunch of Carbontes into R2 at this point. So I kind of have the choice if I want to wait until I get Kenobi unlocked and then um, gear him up. Um, just because I, I haven't tapped into the Carbonti store yet. Okay. Um, I mean, how, what gear level is R2? Um, I think he, he's just sitting at, is that, I think that's eight. Yeah, that's eight. And he's one away from... What do you yeah, mean? he's, he's, he's what do you one mean? away, uh, which contains a Carbonti. Okay, um, that's yeah. Um, from looking at his gear list, that's like the beginning of when he starts needing a lot of carbon. Yeah, he does. Uh, I don't know, Finn. What do you think? I'm trying. I'm trying to debate this one. I would go if you're if you haven't committed to R two already. I would wait for Kenobi. Yeah. Um, simply because that team, if you're putting in Ezra, because I face similar teams, um, they need a taunter. R2 helps with the stealthing in order to try and protect Tech, Ezra, yeah. but uh, Kenobi will provide more protection. So I would wait for Kenobi if, since you haven't invested a lot into R2 yet. Okay, I will do that. That makes sense. All right, so uh, is there anything else that you'd like us to look at since we're in your game, my friend, and looking at everything? Um, I, I think just looking at uh, the specific lineup that I have in ships and see what you guys think. Sure, pull it up. Anyway. I mean, your top 20, so I don't think there'll be too many changes. So please, you know, just select any battle and uh, let's see what you got. So you're running a... I'm running an, uh, an Akbar. Um, capital ship, and then bigs. Um, I'm yeah, bigs, and then I'm I'm using the only reason I have Genosian soldier in there is for that assist. No, I, I like that. Up. Uh, I would actually go with uh, Bubba Fett in that starting lineup. Uh, mm -hmm. Pull your Tie Fighter as a reinforcement. Oh, okay. 
you would take out the Thai. I would actually take out Genosian Soldier and replace it with the Soka. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Uh, now, this is now your Vader's four star. Let me see here. First, you don't even have first order Thai pilot. Even... That's one you need to work on, my friend. Oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Well, I am working on that. I'm farming it uh, pretty hard. That's the one ship I'm. I'm actually buying when I see it. Other than Scimitar and Slave One. Yeah, and... Scimitar should be your first reinforcement. You need to get him up and uh, make him your first reinforcement. Now, th what this lineup does, and this is what I really like with an Akbar, is um, you have. Um, now I have first order Tie Pilot in. I Vader's good, and he'll hold you for now because he can create a target lock and the things that he can do i mean am i getting that wrong never mind um but uh first order tie pilot is is your money maker the two ships you need to work on is first order tie pilot and you would need to work on scimitar now finish boba fett as well uh farming him he, he he's he's an awesome piece now some people like to use him as reinforcement i actually have him in my starting lineup now because you're doing a target lock team with akbar um does your f when you're when you're doing facing the AI, does your Vader get smoked a lot? No, he he like my my bigs because of how farmed up my my character is. My mm -hmm. bigs are really tanky. Um, so you and get so, the tar target lot off right away. Yeah. So eventually, what you're going to want to do is, uh, you know, because you're running a target lock team. See, the reason I like Geonosis and Soldier is he does have that assist. It's random, but it does come in big. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I like Jedi Counselor for the same thing. Boba Fett because of what he can do, he can get that target lock on immediately. Because when you heal, you're obviously gonna knock, you're gonna heal probably bigs, and then every, unless you don't have a target lock up, and then you'll heal like the ship that's next damage that's been damaged the most, just so you can get that advantage, so you can uh, get that target lock going with one of your your characters. But first of all, do you probably, face a lot of scimitars? Um, well, obviously, if, if I see a scimitar in somebody's lineup and not in a reinforcement, like, I immediately fight them because I know they kind of don't know what they're right. doing. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the reason I had the, um, the Imperial tie in the first is because he always goes first, and I almost always stick a target lock. So it's, like, guaranteed Biggs is taunting right off the mm -hmm. bat. Um, I like Imperial Tie there, and I would. That's the reason I was asking about Scimitar because I have faced a lot of uh, Scimitars that come off of that come in as a sixth ship. So they mm -hmm. come in, and then they end up putting a taunt on a character. Ahsoka really helps if you need a reinforcement to come in there, dispel the taunt, and then you just keep on rolling. Yeah, she's a great reinforcement to have. She should be one of your reinforcements. That's why I would remove. I mean, my personal thing would be to remove Geonosian Soldier, put Imperial Tie in your starting lineup, just drop. Geonosis and Soldier entirely and put Ahsoka as probably your second reinforcement. That would be my suggestion. That's not a bad lineup. No, I, I could see that. But oh, yeah, yeah, you do want to work on FOTP and getting the ship up. Yeah, I mean, that, that would Star. still... TIE Fighter Pilot would still go first. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it would just still the strategy is if... Because um, what I was doing is if my bigs died, I'd bring in um, Sun fact. That's, still, that's Sun yeah. That's a still Sun a solid. Fact. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a yeah. and solid. then it, yeah, and then if a hacker gets taken out, I bring in Wedge. I the I, I the only reason I took Ahsoka out was because um, Vader dispels. Vader dispels, but a four star Vader, if your bigs goes down, even with Sun fact, is kind of squishy. Okay. And so if you get to the point, and this is. I mean, you're looking at about turn four of the ships here, but as soon as Boba does his AOE, whether it's with the, if they manage to get his target lock on him or if he does his pulse, um, Vader is going to go down somewhat quickly. Yeah. So once Vader's down, then you don't have anybody to dispel if you face a lot of scimitars. Now that's where Sofa could really in handy. Um, so it depends a little bit on your shard also to see whether or not that's worth it. Okay, yeah, this is. Uh, I'm actually really interested to actually take this team into let's arena here. Do it. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Dun, 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 and just, dun, 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 and just out of curiosity, how have you been doing on your progress back bar six star? Um. Oh man, it is like uh, I've gotten close a few times, but I usually just get totally hosed. Kill Ahsoka. Kill her. Wow, that's. Surprising, no bigs. I didn't even notice. 
<laughs> Speaking of people that don't know what they're doing. Yeah, right? <laughs> Let's do this. This is just a, basically like a power lineup. It's trying to go through offensively and just push through with the mace. Yeah. But it's mace without... There's no FOTP either. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a confusing team. I, yeah, there's like gotta, no coverage. Not the speed isn't there. It's a very weird lineup. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, go ahead and kill Gene Ocean Soldier. Or kill whoever. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> it's over. Stick it on auto and go to sleep. <laughs> there's like no coverage. It's just gonna keep taking out one by one. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. It's very silly line. Nope. <laughs> Finn's just like, what is ha what is happening? I'm wondering if this person just didn't have anybody at his payout that he's surviving this long. Because it's this is like a top fifty team, apparently. Wait, now he pulls in his bigs? Wow. I am <laughs> completely I've, baffled by that move. I yeah. Wow. Yeah, Buff Immunity. Suck on that. Well, as we all know, Big Best has a reinforcement. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> AOE. <laughs> God. Oh, 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 that, that was a little bit late. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just going to... This is auto now. This is auto. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I don't know what this guy was doing. Oh, no. Kidding. Now the scimitar comes in? Yay. Yay. Wow. Yeah, what is... That is very strange. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad he's not getting a roster review. Or will he? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh. I don't know. Getting ship advice from uh, from Ranger. I don't know. How dare you, sir? <laughs> you just ended a ship battle with your Imperial Tie Fighter having protection. That should tell you that Ranger knows what he's doing. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> he won, didn't he? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's it's because right. I wasn't using Kylo Ren's shuttle. Oh, God. I will never, ever listen to that again. Never will I be forced by the peer pressure to do something <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Go ahead, run it. It'll be fun. No, it wasn't. Yeah. What, yeah. Uh, who yeah. was it that was saying, oh, no, I, I use him in Arena? I don't know who it was, but I was like, yeah, right. You did not. <laughs> oh, it was... Uh, um. It was Warrior. That's oh, what yeah, it was. yeah, Warrior loves that ship, but mine was nowhere near the level of Warriors, so yeah. I was just asking to, 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 oh, boy. All right, so I think we get shifts. You got your PvP team, Rock and Roll. Should we do one more match, and we can call this review done, I think. Yeah. Let's totally. do it again. Let's see how, how it goes. Now, this time, we're not going to say anything. We're just going to let you attack. Could we, uh, should we try and go after this is all I, team? Yeah, go for it. Mind. And then priority would be Sith Assassin, correct? Mm. Or whoever's not. Now they may go first because Sith Assassin's so brutal, but. Oh, oh geez. Jesus. Jesus. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is where the, the Zerus comes in handy and a Taunter and all that kind of stuff. Oh, geez. This is. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a little too late for the tenacity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. That, that, wow. Oh, jeez. Uh, well. And they all disappear. Oh. That's going to be your weakness right now that you have no taunter. So once you get Kenobi in here, that's why I was saying Kenobi over R2. Once you get a taunter in this squad, it becomes a little different, especially with Kenobi being an off-turn off taunter. Come on. At least kill one of them. There we go. Okay. Ouch. 
Um, oh, he's going to do his ultimate. Uh, maybe we can chip away here. Oh. How is it that if you put buff immunity on them, they still can stealth? It's the mechanism of the timing. Oh, okay. It's really weird. They shouldn't be able to stealth if they already had buff immunity, but if it's on the same turn, I think they put stealth first and then get buff immunity. Hmm. But uh, that one, they did have buff immunity on them when I hit them. Then, mm -hmm. then that shouldn't happen. I don't know why. Hmm. That's strange. We'll have to look back on the video. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will. So, it, so it looks like those Zol teams are going to be the ones that I'll have a difficulty beating because we beat that Rex team already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're basically just going to need a hunter. That's going to be your your difference there with that squad. Cool. All right. Awesome. So I will wait until I get Kenobi, and then I'll get R2 up and try and do that. Is Ranger still there? Yep, sorry. <laughs> Phone call. Uh, so, yeah, I think... Uh, I, th I think we've covered everything. Looks pretty solid. So, uh, I think we can call this review done. Awesome. So, I want to thank Mr. Cubby Man here and his giggling hey. girlfriend in the background for uh, joining us for the review. Uh, and then... If she would like, she can put her name in the hat. We'll do a review for her too, and uh -huh. um, just tell her to to message Finn a doodle. Um, so on behalf of myself and Finity and Mr. Cub, this has been his Ross review. So uh, it's like we do with every video. You know, if you like what you see, you know, uh, let me put the ending up. What's wrong with me? If you like what you see, then <laughs> like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, you can check out all of our stuff there. Facebook, Twitter. We have merchandise. We have all kinds of fun stuff. But check out our other videos. And, you know, to get out the latest contents, we're going to be doing more of these reviews. Uh, give, you know, just subscribe and you can get all this great content. So on behalf of everybody here, thanks for joining us tonight. And we will check you out next time.